Hi everyone, this is Zhuo Lenxiang from UIUC. Here I'm happy to present you our paper, Strengthened for Torrents in Byzantine for Torrents Replication in ICDCS. This is joint work with Dahlia, Kartik, and Lin. So the motivation comes from blockchain. It can also be called Byzantine for Torrents State Machine Replication or BFT SMR. So in a permissionless setting where the participants don't need to know all other site entities, there is this uh, famous NAC model consensus protocol that can ensure the particip participants agree on a chain of blocks linked by proof of work. Basically, the parties will try to extend the longest chain by solving the crypto puzzle and produce the proof of, proof of work. And once a block is buried sufficiently deep in the blockchain, it is considered committed. On the other hand, there is this permission setting where the parties know each other's identities. There are recent advances on pipeline in classic BFT protocols to obtain efficient chained BFT SMR protocols. Famous examples include Hotstuff and Streamlet. Similar to NAC model consensus, these protocols also produces a chain of blocks, but they are linked by current certificates instead of the proof of work. So here, the current certificate is a set of vote messages for the block and those messages are from a quorum of participants. To see a concrete example of how the chain of blocks is formed in Hotstuff or DMBLT, which is a production version of Hotstuff, let's consider uh, four parties L1 to L4. So Hotstuff is a leader-based protocol. So in this example, the first leader, L1, will first propose its block of round R. Then any party when receiving the proposal from the leader, it may vote for the proposal and send the vote message to the next leader, L2. So when L2 receives enough votes from the parties, it can form a current certificate and attach the QC on its new proposal of round R plus one and send this proposal to everyone. Similarly, when a node receives the proposal from L2, it may vote for the proposal and send the vote message to the next leader, L3. Then when L3 gathers enough votes, it forms a QC for the block of round R plus one and attach the QC to its own proposal of from R plus two and send it to everyone. Then everyone again may vote for the proposal and send it to the next leader and so on and so forth. So in hot stuff, a block is considered committed when there are a three chain, meaning there are three consecutive blocks that are certificate, certified by the current certificate. So here in this example, we have block of round R, R plus one, and R plus two, all of them are certified. So here the block of round R are considered committed. So this is called the three chain commit rule in hot stuff. Also, as you can see in the happy pass, when the network is synchronous and the leaders are good, the, the message complexity of the protocol is order n because every every time it's just leader sending message to everyone and everyone sending the vote to the next leader. So the message complexity is linear. Now let's talk about the four torrents of the protocols. The resilience of BFT protocols has a threshold. For partially synchronous protocols like Hosta for DMBFT, your safety will break if the adversary can corrupt one third of the nodes. Moreover, the worst case analysis says one third is the optimal threshold for any partial synchronous protocols. However, this may not be good enough uh, sometimes because 
a client may come here, come here and say, "Hey, I want at least one one half of the tolerance." In that case, these protocols cannot provide the guarantees to this kind of client. So this motivates our work, strengthened for tolerance. In reality, there will be good periods and bad periods. So in good periods, the network is synchronous and the number of faults is small. While in the bad periods, the network will be asynchronous and there may be a lot of faults in the system. So what we want in the strengthened for tolerance is that we want to commit blocks with higher resilience during the good periods, so that even if during the bad periods, as long as the number of faults is less than the higher threshold x, our strong committee blocks is safe. In this work, we achieve strengthened for tolerance for DMBFT or hostel. Our protocol can strong commit blocks with higher resilience up to two thirds, and at the same time keep the cost linear for the happy pass. So the main idea of our protocol is that we can somehow make the later votes in the chain also endorse the earlier blocks. Like in this picture, the votes from later current certificates can also endorse the first block. So the key technique we use is to add additional information in the vote messages. So we only need to add one small number to the vote messages, that's sufficient. And we can also identify the set of blocks each vote can endorse using this additional information. After that, we can strong commit blocks using again a straight chain rule. But now we will look at straight chain and ask each block in the straight chain to have enough endorsers. So we implemented and evaluated our protocols based on the open source theme blockchain. We find there is no overhead on the normal commit throughput or latency. As for strong commit to achieve two thirds resilience, the latency will be about two times of the normal commit that only achieves one third resilience. Thanks for your attention and I'm happy to take any questions.